Hello friends, welcome. So in this video, I'm going to show you the old method to keep the old data from the session. So when we go to the new post, we have a form here for creating a new post. And because we have added the validation, so let's open the post store request. Now here we have the validation for title. Is required and minimum of three characters and also the body of minimum of five characters. Okay, so we need to add more than two here and more than uh, five here in the body. So let's say here in the title, I'm going to say my new post in the body. Now I'm just going to show the type three characters and if I say create we have the error but we lost the data we added here so we need to write it again and with Laravel we have the helper method the old one which is going to keep the old data from the session for the input so let's go and open now the create blade so here we have the create date and I'm going to remove now the errors here because I'm going to use this one. And here we have the label and also the input. The name is title and let's add also the value. And here I'm going to add double curly braces and inside the old helper method from the Laravel and in here we need to add the name of the input which we want to see the data from the session if i say title and i'm going to do the same thing for the input body also add the value and double curly braces call the old method and say body let's save it and come here and refresh and if i say here now my new post and down there type something say create we have the error the body must be at least five characters but also we have the uh, title here and the string we added in the body so we don't need now to write again the title we just fix the error and if i say create it's going to create the post okay friends this is very helpful and let's go and create now the edit blade here in the post i'm going to create a new file name it edit.blade.php and inside I'm going to copy what we have in the create blade. So select all, copy and paste it inside here. Now instead of create new post in the header, I'm going to say update the post. Okay, now the method is going to be post. The action is going to be post post update. And in the update, we need to add the post ID. So let's open the terminal here. And uh, what I'm going to do, so let's clear this up. I'm going to say PHP artisan wrote list. And uh, here we have the post update and as you can see the method the action is put or patch and also we see here we need the post itself for that i added the post id here post update is the root name so post update now we need to add the post itself in here and the method is update so the method that is responsive for that uh,
for that action, for that update. Now we added the post ID, but the method is going to be put or pass. And we can override this method by adding here the helper method and say it's going to be put. And now Laravel is going to see this one and is going to get this method as a put method. Okay. Also, now if I, I added the post here, but we need the post in the edit blade. So if I open the controller, post controller, and in the edit method, here we need to return that edit blade. In here, first we need to get the post. Here we have the ID. So let's open again. So for edit, here we have the get method and post slash we need the the ID of the post or the post itself because it's going to use route model binding and slash edit the root is post edit and the method is going to be edit in the post controller okay so in the post controller here, we have the edit method. Here is the ID. So let's say now dollar sign post to be post model and find or fail. So if, if not find that, it's going to fail that ID. So we have the post, let's say return the view post dot edit and let's add the post here so compact post okay let's save it now in the uh, in the edit blade we have that post we added here the method and the action is okay but if we Come here and refresh. Let's navigate to the first post. So slash one slash edit. Yeah, we have that uh, the form here. Here it said update the post. But first, let's add a link here to go and edit all the posts. So for example, a link to edit this post down there for a second and so on. So we need to open the, the index blade. And here we have the post card to display that post. So in the components, we have this post card. And here we have the post title to display the title. And the, down there, we added the paragraph for the body. Uh, let me add first here the class flex. And I'm going to say, uh, justify between okay and I'm going to cut them and add it in the div so add the div and paste that down there add another div with class margin 2 and padding 2 and in here I'm going to add a link Tref to be road post dot edit. Okay, so post edit this road name and uh, the URL is going to be post slash the post and slash edit. Here now we need to add the, the post ID. We have a post here, so let's say dollar sign post ID. Uh, let's add also some classes. So I'm going to say class with text to be blue 400. And on hover, I'm going to add a class 
sorry, on hover to be text blue 600. Okay, let's say edit here. And if I save, we need also to close the anchor tag, save it. Let's come here and refresh. And yeah, we have the edit link here. So if I click, we navigate to the post one edit, go to the post, edit here, post slash two edit, and also post slash three and so on. That's okay, but here in the form now, we have a title, but we need to see the title of this post. So for that, if we go in the edit blade, here in the value, we added the old method. If we have any, any old data for this title, but this old method also accept a second parameter for the default value. And the default value for the edit, we have the post here. So let's add the post title. And the same thing for the body. So the assign post, uh, here we need to say post body and let's save it. Come here and refresh. Of course, we have the title now and the body. If we go back and let's see now that did this one post with form request, edit, and we have post with form request here. Okay, friends, so that's it about this video. I hope you enjoy. If you like content like this, don't forget the like the video and subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. All the best.